Hello and welcome back to another Omni Heroes video. In this video we're just going to go through the world boss furious demon, uh, the abyss. So let's jump straight into it. So we join from the main screen. Uh, if you uh, missed that bit you can go up here, uh, top right, and you can jump into abyss crusade from here and it'll bring you to the same screen. So uh, the current uh, abyss Crusade uh, is focused mainly um, on buff stacking. So let's go ahead and check out the guide. So uh, if you see down here on the bottom tabs, you'll see uh, the guide to uh, the actual boss and what it does. So let's first of all check out its abilities. The Infernal Bastion has acquired the domain ability for Cade in Hell, where he can reduce the enemy's attack within his domain. However, Enemies with the domain gain 10% damage boost for each one stack of buff they possess. When the entire team's buff reaches 300 stacks, they also gain an additional 400% damage boost. So, the whole point of this is to get as many buffs as possible uh, for your team. The next one, uh, the first active, Infernal Bastion attacks enemies one time, dealing 60% physical damage per time. And then the final ability is Infernal Bastion attacks enemies one time, dealing 180% physical damage per time and applying the burn effect on the target. So they've added the burn mechanic into uh, the boss here. It says, uh, Infernal Bastion hails from the depths of hell with the facade or domain ability. Within this domain, he reduces the enemy's attack. However, enemies with abundant buffs inside the domain gain damage boost effects. So there's a difference between um, attack and damage in this game. Uh, if you want to know more about that, have a look at uh, Salim. Um, so Salim uh, stacks attack and also stacks damage. Uh, so there's, there is a difference between the two. Now, recommended heroes with increased buffs and Dahlia to counter Infernal Bastion. So let's go ahead and have a look at the actual boss itself. So um, we'll go into Trial and we'll see here, this is the team setup that I have been running uh, for um, this. It includes two of the new units, it's Dahlia and Mulan. Dahlia, I found, uh, is very good if your team has a lot of buffs, which is what this is trying to illustrate. So let's go ahead uh, and first of all, check the clear records. This is the first place I go to because it will show you who has done the most damage uh, and what team they are using, as well as what uh, relics they are using as well. So as you can see pretty consistently um, across the board, um, it is going to be uh, Catherine, Orphelia, Mulan, uh, Atropos, and Dahlia as well. Um, there isn't really much differentiation uh, in the teams at the top spot uh, because this is the team effectively that you should be running um, with uh, the uh, or for here. Um, and as you can see, um, you can still do a fair amount of damage even with the um, even with your your characters at lower star levels. So as you can see, uh, top spot has Orphelia. Uh, at five stars with uh, four red runes, whereas the uh, the fifth slot, sixth slot, um, has Ophelia uh, at three stars. Now, if we oop, if we scroll down uh, a bit further, um, there I am. So as you can see, these are the star levels of my units. I have two star Ophelia, uh, two star. Uh, yeah, two star Mulan, um, and a, a two star uh, Dahlia as well. I do have uh, Atrops at five stars with red runes, and I do have Catherine at four stars with uh, epic runes as well. Um, but as you can see, done massive amounts of damage. And if we go a bit lower, you can see um, the ones below me only have uh, Mulan at one star each. So it does increase the damage uh, quite drastically if you do. Now, having a look at the, the team below that, so at the number 11 spot, uh, we do have a full Avengers team. Um, it looks relatively coherent, dealing 31,000 damage. Uh, and below that, we have a mixture of um, different ones. The 30,000 damage should be absolutely fine. 
uh, to get you into sort of uh, top um, 128 uh, for the next round of Foggy Coliseum. Um, it is, you know, uh, there is a fair bit of variation going lower, but realistically, this is the team setup that you want uh, if you do want to do higher damage. Uh, so my relics here, um, I have gone for these relics just because they give the most damage buff. So let's have a look at them. Um, so it's Death Scythe, so it increases max HP, and there's a 50% uh, chance to apply Mauling Reaper effect on all allies for three rounds. Uh, and it gives, if you have uh, a, a higher level, uh, so uh, three stars, I believe, um, increases the chance to gain Mauling Reaper uh, to 100%. Then you've got the Crown for me. Um, I've got it at uh, 100%. Uh, so it increases uh, applying stun, increases team's relic damage for 100%. Um, and also restores 30 energy and increases attack uh, of all allies by 10% for two rounds. And then finally, Knight's Edge, uh, which increases the attack of all allies um, again. So go ahead and keep that as is. Uh, this is the team that I have been running, and we'll jump into a battle, and I'll just show you uh, as to uh, what sort of damage uh, output we're looking at here. Um, now, Dahlia, I found over the course of um, today, while I've been um, you know, playtesting with her. Um, she is very good, but you do require uh, a lot of heavy buffs on the team. Uh, like, for example, uh, uh, Halisa. Uh, so the uh, most recent uh, non-DD uh, unit from the previous season. Uh, she is a monarch, but she does apply a lot of buffs um, on the enemy. Uh, team as well. So we've got our burn effect applied. We'll get a bit of healing in here. Dahlia to swap around with Mulan um, and gain that attack buff as well. So every time uh, Mulan uh, switches, uh, not Mulan, every time Dahlia switches, she will uh, effectively double the attack buffs uh, and uh, copy them as well. So by copying them, uh, she does double the, the attack buffs. Um, quite a powerful unit uh, in my opinion uh, because she can swap potentially with Atrops as well um, and when Atrops has uh, all of these damage buffs up and uh, Dahlia will swap with Atrops uh, giving her the buffs as well so as you can see there um, we've just copied the buffs and swapped with Atrops so we should start to see a massive increase in damage as well um, we are applying Sanctuary um, because of our Ophelia. So my Ophelia is at 7 stars, and at 7 stars, there's a 25% chance to apply um, Sanctuary, which increases our uh, overall uh, attack, I believe, by... Um, so it increases our overall attack by um, quite, a, quite a large amount. I believe it's 150%. Uh, which is a significant amount, and I don't believe uh, it can be um, it can be debuffed now as well, um, as far as I'm aware. Uh, or it may potentially just be the um, I, I can never remember a name uh, the the golden hero from season two that came out with Astrid, um, Christine, and uh, Orphelia as well. She also applies Sanctuary uh, to the team. Um, and I believe that they made the change so that they can't be uh, debuffed. So um, we are starting to do, starting to pick up a bit more damage, as you can see. Um, our Dali here uh, doing 100 million, which is uh, a bit more than the rest of them. But we are looking to do a bit more damage overall uh, than that as well. So potentially what you can try, um, I, I wouldn't recommend it, but you can try uh, swapping out Orphelia for Astrid um, and swapping out Mulan for uh, Serafina as well. Um, but I very much doubt you would do uh, anywhere near the same amount of damage. But we can give it a go and I'll, uh, I'll show you uh, just what I mean because I have tried that before. So here it doesn't look like we're, we're doing um, too much damage to the boss, uh, but it is all stacking up over the course of uh, the 15 rounds that we're going to go into. Uh, the burn mechanic from Mulan 
um, I found to be very impressive. Uh, I think it's it's a really powerful effect, uh, and I do think that um, she will uh, be in the meta for quite some time, especially on the Mystifiers team. I think she's brought that up to a um, to the next level. Uh, I think Mystifiers was probably between B and A tier, uh, and now I think that it's uh, most definitely uh, between S and A tier as well uh, as a team synergy, just because it's got the two strikers. Uh, and three monarchs and you can also run four monarchs one striker as well so it's just something to uh, to keep in mind so it is a miss on the boss um, but as you can see damage has gone up to 150 million mulan dealing uh, 400 million there as well so um, very powerful uh, very powerful uh, very high damage numbers we're looking at here. Enemies not able to do uh, full damage to our health, which means that we're able to uh, push through through to round 15, uh, and Dali there doing uh, significant damage as well as the burn effect. Um, now, I have tried switching around Atrops and Catherine, uh, but with the um, switch effect that uh, Dahlia uh, puts, you really do want her to switch with Atrops uh, as often as possible. Uh, preferably um, after Atrops has cast her first uh, ultimate. Um, and the reason for that is because when Atrops will cast her first ultimate, increase attack, it will also then um, double the amount of stacks uh, on. So as we see here, Atrops will double, and then we want Dahlia to swap with uh, Atrops uh, if possible. So there we go. And so we've doubled the number. Um, we've doubled that number. So it's, it seems to be working very well. And as you can see, it looks like we've even taken a little bit of uh, damage off the boss's uh, health bar here. Don't worry. Nobody's expected to um, to do it. It's effectively just a big, big old punching bag. Um, so just something to to keep in mind. Uh, and then this will be the last round. So we'll take these hits here. And it looks like Mulan this time has done the most damage, followed very closely by Dahlia. As you can see, we only got to 146,000 this time, and it is based on uh, your crits as well. Uh, but if you have a look, my highest damage score is 220. So we can go ahead and sweep, uh, and it will increase uh, our score by 220,000 as well. So we've got one last trial. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a higher result. Now what I might try, switching things around a little bit. Um, it looks like Orphelia is required. Um, realistically, Orphelia is required. Uh, if we have a look here, um, the two above me have used uh, very similar setups as well, uh, except this one does not include Catherine. Uh, it includes Astrid with red runes as well. So just something to, uh, to keep in mind there. Uh, but that's about it, really, um, for for the abyss. Um, sort of new units are required, but you need you do need to start getting um, Orphelia, who's now available in the shop. Um, if you don't have Mulan, you can replace it with Astrid, who's available in the shop. Catherine and Atrops available in the shop as well. Uh, if you don't have Dahlia, um, then potentially another uh, buff giver. Um, not too sure who else you would use. Uh, potentially. The twins uh, might be quite useful, um, or going a full Glorians team may also prove to be a bit more effective. Um, so it's it's really up to you, but there is a particular team that you need to use to get through, uh, and it does include two of the new units. So just something to keep in mind for future Abyss Crusades. I uh, just want to say thank you uh, very much for watching. Um, we are trying to get through to uh, 500 500 subscribers so if you uh, could subscribe be really appreciated thanks very much for watching you yeah, have a good day